Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Andre Laurente from Diagnose. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Tracy. Well, I'll tell you, rarely do we have an opportunity to have this much buzz before we do an interview. But many of the individuals in my network are telling me, Tracy, are you watching Diagnose? So for everyone out there in Investor Intel, let's all learn more about Diagnose together. Andre, can you give us a quick introduction to why there's so much buzz on your company? Well, sure. So Diagnose is a uh, publicly trading company in the TSX, as you know. And we really specialize in using artificial intelligence to tackle some of the uh, medical imaging issues in the world. Our first application, we're using the eyes. And the reason why we use the eyes is we inside your eye, the back of your eye is called the retina. And in the retina, we can actually see the microcirculation. So those are little tiny vessels that uh, when you take a medication, they get affected first. If, if you have a cold, if you have uh, cardiovascular issues like uh, hypertension, it actually, we can see it in your eyes. So we specialize in actually monitoring the retina for people that are diabetics or suffer from any cardiovascular issues. That's what we do. So if I understand correctly, diagnose is a critical medical detection system that is AI driven. Is that correct? That's correct. It's a medical test driven by artificial intelligence. And in at present, you have an application that is a retinal eye uh, system. Is that correct? Yeah, we analyze the retina, the back of your eye. Now, it's my understanding that this is called CARA, and you're going to tell us what this acronym stands for. That's C-A-R-A. Are you currently selling this technology? So CARA means the Computer Assisted Retinal Analysis. So CARA is an application that is in production today. So it's not in, the, in, in development, it is finished. So the development is finished. And our first application called CARA is in production. It's been in production since, uh, uh, let's say, mid-February. Uh, but we got hit by COVID in March. So we, we lost a lot of our, um, our sites uh, temporarily anyway. So, uh, so that, that is uh, what CARA does. And just to let you know, there's going to be other products coming out very soon through the same analysis of the retina to do other uh, analysis. Well, it, it sounds to me like you have a number of applications that are very exciting, but in understanding CAR right now, it's already in the market. And based on your last news release with the, you, you announced the resumption of screening operations in Saudi Arabia. I'm assuming you have a contract there. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. So when uh, so we've announced a few like this. OK, so these are our existing clients that during the pandemic in March, they had to shut down. So when we say shut down, I'll give you a, a Canadian example. We're at the CHUM in Montreal. It is the largest hospital in Quebec. It's a brand new hospital. So the department that looks after diabetics has shut down. That means that diabetic patients are not allowed to go into the hospital because diabetics are very sensitive to the virus. So the way that the hospital figured out uh, what to do is to, to tell patients to stay home. And they did this with other, uh, other types of diseases also. So in Saudi, this hospital has restarted uh, screening diabetics. Uh, we have some in uh, California that restarted and some in New York also. So it is just restarting. It's not a, it's not a Klondike yet, but it's restarting. That means that some of their patients are coming back for their annual visit or their biannual visits. So, Andre, um, if I understand you correctly, I mean, a lot of the world right now, we're doing several story series on how the world is looking at Canada for rising biotech companies to really invest in and get excited about. So we have a lot of investors looking at Canada, your biotech, there's a lot of planes on the tarmac, I like to say. What makes your private jet more exciting to an investor than, say, many of the other competitors? At the end of the day, it sounds like a jet. Well, yeah, you know, I, I say this uh, very uh, humbly. I'm very humble when I say that, but our technology works. It's in production. We're fully funded for the next 18 months. So that reduces any risks. And we have a very large funnel of prospects or existing customers that are going to restart. So based on that, uh, we reduce the risk for any investors to actually look at Diagnose 
and invest in Diagnose. And by the way, the markets we're going after are extremely big. There's a, there's a couple of billion diabetics in the world, but there's also probably 25, 30 billion people that suffer from cardio, uh, cardiovascular issues like hypertension and other ways. It's a very large market. Well, Andre, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm sure everyone out in Investor Intel is going to add you to their watch list. We look forward to getting regular updates. Thank you very much, Tracy. And I'm looking forward to come back and tell you about my updates.